Hi, I'm Stephen Downs. I'd like to introduce you to Grasshopper, the system that allows you to aggregate content from around the web, organize it however you want to, and publish your own web pages, content feeds, or email newsletters. Grasshopper can look a little bit complicated just as you're getting used to it. There's an awful lot to it on the site administration screen, and you might not know where to start. Here's an overview of how Grasshopper works. It brings in input from various sources. The two major sources are user input through web forms and feed input through an aggregation service or harvester. This input is stored into data. The data is arranged into a variety of tables, link, post, template. There's actually a fairly large number of tables and one of the features of Grasshopper is you can add additional tables and define the input data however you want it to be defined. This input data is then organized into pages. Pages are the heart of the system. Everything happens around pages. A page will have a header and a footer which are formed out of the template data element and we'll have, de we'll have page contents which are created out of the links, the posts, the boxes, the feeds, etc you define how you want the content to be organized in one of the pages. Once your page is defined, then you can distribute it in any of a number of different ways. You can send it out as an email newsletter. That's how I create my OL Daily email newsletter. Or you can publish it as a web page. Or you can send it out as an RSS or some other sort of feed. Now that you see this basic structure of Grasshopper, the administration screen begins to make a little bit more sense. Here on the left hand side are all the different data types that are available in the system. As you can see, you can create a new, a new instance of any of the data types simply by creating new. That will open up a web-based form that allows you to create a new instance of one of those things. Or you can list all of the elements that you have, all of the entities that you have. Here's a list of the pages on this system. This is just a short list. On my OL Daily uh, page list, I have about 60 different pages. I can edit any existing page. So here I am editing the Grasshopper demo site page. Once I've finished editing it, now I can distribute it. For example, I can publish it. I'll just publish it by clicking publish. That'll save it as a static web page to the website. And now I can open up the Grasshopper demo site. And as you can see, this was the page that I opened up the demonstration on. That's a quick overview of Grasshopper. There's an awful lot to it. And in later videos, I'll talk about the different elements, what some of the roles different data types play, and how to organize these data types into a single page. Thanks, and I hope you enjoy Grasshopper.